Welcome back to Mother's Lifestyle. It's a reaction video. Who made it to the top? Of course, you and I, we are here. We're back like we never left. The lazy people everywhere. Quick reminder, if you love me, I love you back. I love you with the with. I love you back to back. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Backpackers everywhere, lazy people everywhere. Where's my backpacker? Of course, we are very much around Iyabohanze. And one leg is in Ghana. We made it to Ghana, guys. Hey! Yes, Mrs. Maya is on this table. Mrs. Maya is taking us back to Ghana. Meanwhile, have you grabbed something? Grab whatever that is grabbable. Me, I got my bar of water here. Grab yours. Sharp, 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 sharp. I just quickly want to apologize for yesterday's video. I noticed that this microphone, mm, Coco Mama, <laughs> we are still trying. Of course, we will get there. It's a question of time. Yani, we are pushing it to get it right, no matter what. Mm. So I just want to apologize for that. I know the video was not clear. You do without microphone is a problem because, again, with my Nigerian accent, some people of course, cannot understand whether I'm speaking English or my dialect. And then using this microphone, when I say something very loud, again, it's echoing. Well, we're going to get it right. It's a question of time. Who do we have here apart from you and I? Coco Mama of the Most High is on this table. The Kenges, Congress Mom made it to the table. The Junior of Africa is here. D of the Natus Association of Kenya made it to the table. Mrs. Maya made it to the table once more. A quick recap, guys. Hmm. Yesterday, I shared a video where a particular guy, Alice in Konjoki, Alice in Joki one, something like that, left her husband. This Alice was interviewed by another lady. I didn't bring the onions because first, this lady started and was like, I'm not a reactor. I'm like, wait a minute, what are you doing? A reactor shared a news here that someone's wife left him because of money and ran to get Reba. You reacted without even admitting it. You saw the video, and according to this person, this lady did not push her to do this. Yani, how did the lady get to you? For the fact that she became defensive already, asking the lady, did I ask you for this interview? Did I force you? Putting words into her mouth. What's the big thing? Okay, there's someone who is in your community who you need to clarify stuff with, and this is what you are doing on your channel. You are not a reactor. So what exactly are you? You sit down, you do video, you interview people. So what are you exactly? Guys, I don't understand. It's just like Chef Matiko. Last time he said, oh, I'm not a reactor. I'm bigger than them. They are not even up to my number. <laughs> now you go back to Chef Matiko. He has been reacted stylishly with one leg. Well, this person interviewed Alice. The lady that left her husband to get raped, according to her, she was severely, severely abused by this guy. The guy even wanted to strangulate her, actually wanted to kill her, that she sleeps over by her shop. I have a problem here. Let me say that this girl was severely, severely abused by her husband, and they have a son together. You did not report him. You reported him to the police, but he was not arrested. You, you didn't involve your parents stuff like this someone wanted to take away your life you didn't let your mom know about it and you went ahead and be doing your stuff the day you came to collect your stuff he was there and he was fine that you took your stuff like you didn't collect his own stuff you did all that you did all that then why are you with Getreba? this interviewer was like oh it doesn't matter whether you want to call this person's name that you are with whether this person is a friend alice claimed that Getreba is just a friend for the fact that your husband abused you, you're supposed to report him to the police and he's supposed to be arrested. You, you're you not supposed to just let it slide like that, which I understand. And you guys remember I said it yesterday. Let me even say that this guy, you know, was very, very aggressive. This guy was a bad guy, a bad husband to this lady. Why from abusive relationship you are jumping into another man's arm? From abusive marriage, abusive husband you are running to another guy and you're now claiming that this guy is just your friend it didn't make sense to me because if he has nothing to do with the 
we will not see her too soon. You understand? As she claimed, she claimed that, oh, she sleeps by her shop. But she has been doing stuff ever since that 30 days party. She has been doing stuff with Gitreba. Gitreba is a friend, I understand. Okay? She made mention that when she went by her parents, her husband didn't like that uh, she went there and she was collaborating with other content creators, which I said here. Another thing is, if you're a married person and you want your partner, it could be the, from the guy's side. What I mean is, maybe this girl is a housewife and the husband is the one, a social media person, okay? It will be very, 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 very hard for you to tell your wife that she cannot talk to opposite sex or she cannot relate because social media, as the name implies, is for social. You have to get social with people. People will reach out to you both privately and publicly. And that someone is reaching out to your wife, that your, someone is doing video with your wife on business level, except if there are other things there that we don't know, doesn't necessarily mean that your wife is cheating. You understand? We should understand that social media, people will relate. A guy will reach out to a married woman. A married woman can reach out to a single person so long as the boundary is there. And it's even easy when the person you are reaching out to, you are not even in the same state with that person. You are not from the same country. You are, you are mainly, you know, socializing. Now, someone who is on social media, like, for example, if you are on social media and you are a married person, it will be very, very hard for you to avoid talking to opposite sex. People tend to focus on, oh, you are chatting with so many men. Oh, you are chatting with so many ladies. What is going on? Oh, you are doing this. Except if there are other things involved, like, for example, you are becoming intimate, going to personal, sharing nude pictures. Then that one, I would say that, no, that one is no longer on social level, okay? Because someone can, I mean, offline, people do stuff, real stuff. They go out, you don't know who they have met. You are more worried about your wife being on YouTube, you know, collaborating with other guys. And without you knowing that offline, she might even be doing stuff locally with people like face to face, knocking and dusting up and down. You are focusing more on her social life without even knowing that that is not even where your problem lies. You guys should not get me wrong. People do stuff like what we are seeing now on YouTube. Because of this social madness that we are in, some people, they lose control. Before you know it, from, you know, normal socializing, oh, how are you? Oh, I love your content. Oh, this, this, that. They start, they start turning to something that it might even destroy the relationship or marriage. But it depends, like I said. Now, why didn't Alice do anything? Another thing that made me laugh, and I said, you know what? I'm clicking out. I'm clicking out. I, like, I'm done. She claimed that she was injured, but it's, the wound has healed. Where is the scar? Where are the scars? I got scar, something that happened to me like 30 years ago when I was still growing up. I still got the scars. Where are the scars? Yeah, I mean, these people, they think that they are talking to children or something. Your husband abused you. It's not even like up to three months. I'm sure all these things happened within two months or whatever. Where are these scars? If this guy really physically abused her, we should be able to see the scars. Except if it's not physical abuse, maybe emotionally, because this girl is now claiming that she has a shop, she's the breadwinner, sometimes she's the one buying food, which is common. Things are really hard. You cannot expect a man to carry everything. As a woman, you are supporting, and the guy should also support. It's not a big thing, especially in marriage. Relationship, of course, you need to draw the lines because before you know it, you will become the stupid one whereby you are the one looking after the guy and the guy is busy spending his money on another lady. You are spending on him, he's spending on the other guy. And, and the, you are spending on him, he's spending on another lady. And at the end of the day, he has nothing to lose. He will quickly walk away when he's done with you. Except in that case, so that's what I want to say here. I don't buy this idea that 
this guy was abusive, this guy tortured her, wanted to kill her, and she decided not to involve police. She just took her things and she ran away. Getreba is just a friend. Now, that is BS. It has a lot to do with Getreba. It has a lot to do with social media. Like I said yesterday, she was fed up with the marriage. She was fed up with the guy. The guy might actually be abusive. Yani. African men, I cannot say yes, yes, yes. It might actually happen like that. Guys, that's what I want to say there. He, she decided to move out of the marriage. She decided because she found somebody that she also, <laughs> she decided to move on with her life and she ran to someone who also abandoned his wife. Hey, and this one becomes what? I don't know. We wish them all the best. I know. Mm -hmm. That's what I want to say there. Guys, can we start? Congress mom and Mr. Kenge did a video. Congress mom was roaming around. Of course, ambulating. Very, very important. Mr. Kenge asked her, Mama, how was your appointment with your doctor? Did the doctor check you, do any X-ray, any ultrasound or something? And Mama said no. Did they open? And Mama said no. And the, the Mama said no. And Kenge said, did they open the cast? Is it even a cast, the bandage? Mama said, no, they didn't do anything. They just asked me to be moving my hand. I don't need to hang it up like this. I can drop it down. I can move left, right. I should eat more vegetables, fruits, drink milk, drink a lot of water. Again, Congress mom is letting us know that now she can walk. Mama, what happened to you? Was she having problem walking before? Was she having problem with her limbs? I don't get it because these guys, is not coming from me because some of you guys, you are looking at me and you are like, Coco Mama, what are you talking about? This is from Congress Mom. We're going to hear from her. She told Marwa that she can now walk properly. Was she having difficulty walking before? What is the problem? Is there something that made this happen? Is there underlining issue that we don't know about and these guys from one way or the other they will slowly release these things another thing i want to clear here is because i've been seeing comments even under this video congress mom dropped a lot of people are still questioning is it your left arm or your right arm what is going on congress mom you go to the virginia's channel is the right arm you come to congress mom is the left arm you go to mr kenge's channel is the right arm now I took a look at Mr. Kenge because Mr. Kenge was having this conversation with his mom. And I took, I, I paid attention to all this stuff that he's, he got, bangles, okay, his wristbands. And I noticed that, okay, he got some on the left arm, he got some here. So if you go to Congress Mom channel, the one that he got on his right arm actually looks like he wore those ones on the left arm, actually is his right arm. You go to his channel and you pay attention. I'm going to try to put the pictures here. You see, on the Congress Mom channel, it looks as if this was on the right arm is his left arm. No. So this is what will clear this because I've been seeing comments like this. Oh, Mama, what is going on? No. Look, take a look at, you go to Marwa's channel, look at his wristbands, look at all these bangles that he got around his wrist. You will Understand some he got here, and those ones he got here really is on his right arm. But you go to Congress Mom's channel where he was having this conversation with Congress Mom, of course, with Congress Mom camera. I think this is from Congress Mom's camera, okay? Because Mr. Kenge, of course, on his channel will film with his own camera, but when he appears on his mom's channel, they film with Congress Mom's camera, and that's where the problem because Mr. Kenge. The wristband on his right arm really looks as if it was on his left arm. So you guys should try to understand that. No, 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 no. I don't think Congress mom is lying about. Actually, where me, I'm arguing is that Congress mom didn't have any fracture. I believe that, or she sustained injury. I believe that she got like little wounds or bruises on her right arm. That is the one that was bandaged. And if you notice, she was hiding it all this while. So that will tell you that 
you guys this thing is starting again so that will tell you that it's not just fracture she probably may have sustained some injury actually maybe she even fell like she said you understand maybe she was walking and she flipped and she fell and injured herself maybe she fought with her husband it's common you understand so that's what i want to clear there let's watch the clip because yes. the idea is, guys, I don't want to be very far and somebody's calling me, hey, Mara, there's no vegetables in the house. And yes, there is now we, we are doing kitchen garden because I want to leave the home yes. uh, at least with, with uh, enough veggies. Yes. Yes, otherwise, you know, sometimes it's very hard yes. when you're far away and somebody's calling you, oh, I <laughs> don't have food. <laughs> it's, I, I don't want to respond to such. Yes. Yes. All the homes you see here, even those homes, guys, they never buy vegetables. But uh, the new boy is training them locally. He doesn't know that these things are trained professionally. See, now even her hand, she can put her hand down like that. Yes. You know? I'm working well. Yes. Okay. I'm so initially the doctor told you that your hand had to be like this? No, at first yeah. they told me I had to put it this way. Okay. But now, when I went yesterday, they told me no. Mom. Did they open it? No, no, they didn't open it. They just scanned. Me, no, they didn't scan. They didn't do anything. They only added me some tabs. Okay. Only. Yeah, they told me now you can relax, you can turn your hand. Okay, you can make a little exercise. Okay. Uh, so be free. Okay. That's what they told me. Okay. Yes. It will heal. Yes. It's already healing. Yes. Yeah, you just have to take care of yourself. Like here, you don't step here, you know. Marwa, you can do better. Mr. Kenge, stop it. It will not kill you to look after your mom. To push maybe $100 or even $50 every month inside a bank account for her upkeep she has done more than that for you this guy is so selfish this guy doesn't listen to himself oh i don't want to be out and people call him who was he referring to i don't want to entertain that who was mr kenga referring to his mom of course <laughs> hey shameless people everywhere oh you see that house the vegetable that they eat in their home, they cultivate all the vegetable. They don't buy vegetable from the market. Like seriously, does it really matter, Mr. Kenge? Must your mom cultivate vegetable in order for her to enjoy? She has worked hard enough to put her legs up and eat whatever she wants to eat. You are more than vegetable, Mr. Kenge. You can look after your mom. Yes, she can call you anywhere you are and you push money into her account. And she can buy and eat whatever she wants. This is a guy. This guy is so selfish. Mr. Kenge, you are selfish. You should be selling fish. <laughs> this is someone who his mom will always take care of. Like his mom is so caring. His mom cares so much about this guy, but he cares less. Spitting it on her face. Don't ask me for money when I'm gone. Hey, I thought I have heard it all. You must remind your mom to do farming. The other time, Mr. Kenga was saying, oh, Congress mom loves this 73-year-old man. She even gave him some ogali, some corn to make ogali. So where did Congress mom get those from? You must be the one controlling and pin. She was even telling her, now you can go. I want to talk to Rusio about the horse because I'm not happy with Getreba riding the horse. He shock you. <laughs> hey, those horses are for what? The workers. You don't know how to do horse riding. Of course, you should allow them. Why was he complaining about Getreba riding the horse? I don't get it. And the way he discharged Congress mom, you can tell that this dude wants to only be with his mom and not, you know, when he's with Roro Roro, three of them can talk together. And Congress mom was actually so nice to Roro Roro. Oh, Russia, you are taking care of the horses. Thank you so much. You're working hard. Uh, working hard. You are there. She can't even boil ordinary water for you. She can't even make a cup of tea for you. Keep you company. Your son, who is a guy that has never cooked. You, you guys, you take a look at Davujino. You know that he's really struggling to help his mom out, prepare meals for his mom. Because, I mean, nobody, he got no choice. And I spotted Winnie. Winnie came once to see her mom and then she left. This is actually the time she's supposed to come around and help Davo Jr. out. <laughs> because this one is all, in fact, this one 
is doing this actually for his content, of course, to gain empathy from his audience, which he did already. Oh, guys, I don't know what to do, but I'm really tired. Yes, because it's not something you are used to. You look around that comp you look around the village, you will see what hard working is all about. Not just moving around very early in the morning. Oh, guys, welcome to the channel. It's amazing, this one, our beautiful compound. Look at how green everywhere is. And da, 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 da. You go somewhere, cook up lies, boom, post it. Clip it on top of it. And you come and tell us that we are jealous that you are working hard. We are jealous of your hard work. We are jealous of your success. Mr. Kenge, guys, killed a big, dangerous snake in his compound. First time he said, what does that tell you? Mm -hmm. Check very well, Mr. Kenge. You see that snake, that dangerous snake that you have killed is a sign that something is not going on well. For a dangerous snake to be around there, if this snake had managed to bite anybody, it, it, it can kill. He was even worried. He said, oh, this mom, this neck, the color, the belly is white. The skin is like this. This skin, this water snake is so dangerous. Da, 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 da. He's worried, worried, worried. You better check it, Mr. Kenke. You better make sure that your hands are clean. You better check it very well. This one that the serpent is visiting the one that is already there. Of course, the snake is coming to meet the counterpart in Mr. Kenke's house. That's what the snake came to do. Mm? Congress mom now claiming that this general surgeon, according to the Virginia, okay, this general surgeon that they saw didn't open this bandage, didn't say anything, didn't give her anything, just told her to be moving her arms, that everything is okay, and her indicating that she can now walk. What does that tell you? Does this mean that Congress mom had difficulty walking at some point? She was staggering before she fell. I'm just saying. Where is Congress dad? This is the next question. Congress dad was seen. We thank God that we spotted him once more. But this time around, I saw him with a bag. He got a bag. First, he went to tie a goat somewhere so that the, the goats can graze, okay? And after he finished that, he met this YouTuber that interviewed him for a while. And I don't know why these content creators, they are not even asking him, is everything all right with your family? Just to try. I know it's a bit personal, but at this point, we don't know what is going on because these guys that are even sharing the one they are sharing, mind you, Congress that is not a YouTuber. Probably it could have been better if he has his own channel. He will make things clear to us. No, those ones that are vlogging every day, guys, I'm out here to the garden. Oh, this, oh, that. They are not making things clear. Yani? Sometimes I watch the Virginia and I watch Congress Mom. I'll be like, you guys should drop this. Drop this camera now and let us breathe. If you're not ready to vlog, don't vlog. You can't be going like, you can't be doing white and black to us. You want to share something, you share. Otherwise, don't even talk about it, you injuring yourself. Don't bring it. You must not. You must not. If you must share, make it clear to your audience. If you don't want to share, that's it. Let's watch Congress that once more. Hmm. I hope since he's around, he's still busy doing his own farm. He's still busy taking care of his animals like he would normally do, taking them for grazing, taking them to the river, going to his farm, making sure everything, cultivating, making sure everything is okay. This one that he's still doing it, let me just say that soon everything will come to normal. You guys remember that when Congress mom and D killed a goat for the Marawas and they came over with other guys. If you guys remember very well, there are, apart from Marawas engineer, Mr. Ebola, there's another guy. There was another guy that was there. And this guy wasn't, he wasn't a familiar face. And I kept asking, who is this other guy that is not even close to Mr. Kenga? I mean, Mr. Kenga was sitting on the other side with his woman and this guy was sitting very close to congressman and i was asking all these questions mm, a lot go on and why didn't congress dad attend that family get together why why are they treating him like a house boy why are they segregating him why do i have a feeling that actually this guy congress mom to us looks like a woman who her husband must have hammered you know beating up 
and she sustained injury. And that, 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 that's the picture that we're seeing now, though she's not saying it. There's more to that. CEO yesterday, shout out to you, was saying that she has never seen Congress mom close to anyone, like a villager. Someone coming over and con Congress mom being like, oh, this is my best friend. It's not everybody that wants to have close friends, but at least as a village woman that she is, her neighbors, once in a while, we should see people either coming in or coming out, interacting. We barely see Congress mom relating that much, like going so personal with anybody. Will I say that because they feel like they are superior than everybody in that village? Because again, information I'm hearing is that Congress mom actually, you know, went after Mama Anne, abused Mama Anne, said stuff to Mama Anne, that this actually made Mama Anne to cry. So that, that, that might be another reason why Congress mom is not relating that much with anybody. You look at her face, you pay attention to like the way she makes face when she's around the compound or walking by the roadside or taking a walk by the roadside. You will notice that whenever she sees people, she will squeeze her face, make her face look like this. I don't live with them, but we can see. We don't need to be in the Yabuhansi to see what is going on there. Let's watch Congress that, guys. Okay. Yeah, and something Hello, funny. Hello, guys. Yeah. Good morning, good afternoon, yeah. good evening, wherever you are. Yeah, I'm, I really love you, Jamaican I'm happy t <laughs> to see you people from Jamaica, and I'm with you. Yeah. This is a sign that we are together. Thank you. Continue supporting him in a mighty way, yeah. and God will always bless you in a, in a very special way. Thank you. Thank you so much. God bless you. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, you see, our dad has got some Jamaica, and uh, because we do respect and... Uh, we, do, we don't take you for granted. Sadiki or Sindike, Sindike. Oh, those are your boys' names. Eh? Very, very difficult for Koko Mama to memorize. But anyway, why are they not asking this guy? How is everything? Is he okay? Was he driven away from the villa? Where is he? Did he get a second wife? Did he take revenge? Did his wife abuse him or something? Did anybody do anything to him? Why are they not asking him simple, simple questions? Well, of course, it's up to him. He may not want to share anything of that nature. But I'm happy to spot him once more and to see that he's still okay. But why is he not with his wife? Why are they not together? Why is Congress mom still by Mr. Kenge? Something is not right between these two. We will continue to pray for them. I laugh at so many people that come under my comment section to call me names and insult me. Insult me, I block a hell out of you, period. Because you are just as guilty as I am. Mm -hmm. I'm here on camera doing my own thing. You, you are hiding under your keyboard and doing your own stuff. So we are the same. You agreed, I disagreed. Same, same old, same old. So what are you talking about? Exactly. You're going to curse me, curse my family. To support another. You are as guilty as I am. Period. You can't tell me nothing. Hey, Roro Roro <laughs> shared another old video. It's gonna put the picture here. She shared this and she was like, Oh, my old we went recording a music here. Da, 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 da. This was before she came to Yabhanze. I'm taking a look at her. You can see how emaciated. You can see how skinny she looked. You can see that she actually looked better, better, better now compared to before she came to your hands i'm looking at this other person with her I'm like hey overthinking would not finish me here they were in isolated place somewhere that looks like a desert okay and they were all there together and what did she call this person my friend i'm like tell us more are you sure this person is really your friend is there something that you need to let us know between you and this person could this person be someone that you just dumped to jump to mr kenge what do you think whoever that pays more will carry the show mm -hmm. why do i have a feeling that this person is actually roro roro like yani roro roro person why am i feeling like that why is she bringing back this memory you know how you would remember someone that you have had something with someone you have had one-on-one -on -one with you'll be like oh i think i miss her so much oh how i wish I'm still with her, even though I'm with this guy, with this mansion, and with all this drama and drama. But I still miss this person, even though she may not have much on the table. But at least 
I had my peace of mind. Boom, you are sharing that. You're sharing that memory to your audience. Some people actually got confused and started asking, Roro, Roro, when did you leave Iyabohanze? Then she was explaining, no, 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 no. This was before I actually came to Iyabohanze. You click, you can tell that she looked better now. Definitely, there was no way this would be a current one. Before she came to Iyabohanze, she looked malnourished. She looked anorexic. She looked skinny, skinny, skinny. Anemic, name it. Yes, I said it. Guys, <laughs> last time, this one happened a few days ago, okay? Roro Roro and the second wife. Second wife is XPA. <laughs> Roro Roro is the, the first lady, of course. She's the one open. She's the one that Baba Marwa is showcasing to the whole world and he is proud of. Mom, 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 mom. You know, my mom wants everything straight. Mama wants everything straight. You guys must come with appointments. No, 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 no. Well, they were gifting each other. PA, XPA and Roro Roro. PA gifted Roro Roro something and she put it in a gift bag presentation the same matters guess what roro roro did roro roro gifted this pa swimsuit and she didn't even care to put it in a gift bag or even in a simple nylon she just gave it to her like that publicly in front of everybody the men and the hand i'm like hey something like this happened there and there you're supposed to throw it on her face and be like Mama, what is going on here? You can't even put this in a plastic. Tell me who does that. Is this one not see finish? This is what we call see finish in Nigeria. You know when you've been with someone and you don't even feel anything for that person anymore, like any no respect anymore. You feel like I'm done. I've seen all. This is what it looks like. Otherwise, tell me why Roro Roro will present stuff to PA like this, like casually. Open swimsuit. In front of everybody to see. She accepted this insult. Of course, you know why. Because she wants to hang around and grow her channel. That is actually why she left where she was, Mombasa, to come down to Yabahansa and be rubbishing herself. Even rented a place. She accepted this gift like that. If I was her, I would carry my own gift, remove it from the gift bag, give it to Roro Roro like that, and take the, my gift back and keep. The gift that she gave me. Guys, can we call it a day with Mrs. Maya? Mrs. Maya was interviewed by this lady, not a familiar face. I even forgot the channel, but in any way, someone shared this with me. I watched and I enjoyed. Actually, this is more like the free masterclass. Mrs. Maya shared a lot. Her journey, of course, how she was a cell representative and she lost her job, stumbled into YouTube videos, started doing her own thing with a very terrible phone with a very bad phone okay and she managed to get to where she is today with the maya reaching out to her and her finally meeting up with with the maya in ethiopia with little money that she saved from youtube i think she said she made like 300 or 200 usd she has always shared this story anyway the main reason why i'm here is two things there's one thing she said. She said that she's more worried about how many property she has than how many handbags, how many shoes, outfit, and all that. That now that they are working with so many brands, so many brands actually are the ones, so many brands are now like helping them, dressing them. Of course, according to how they want them to represent the brand. It's a very powerful word from Mrs. Maya. Ask me how many property I've got. Don't ask me how many designer handbags I have. You know, how many places I've been to. How many times I've flown business class. That's BS. I feel like she was actually talking to our baby girl, D. She refused to learn. Everything about D now is, oh, up in my game, doing this. Oh, I've achieved this. I bought this jacket, so, so, so amount of euro. Oh, I'm flying this business class. Oh, I'm doing like this. Oh, I'm going to do like this. I'm even going to do more. Oh, my next one now is Lamborghini. There's nothing wrong in dreaming big. But investment is very, very important, especially when the money is flowing, because there will be a time it will dry. It's not our prayer that the money will dry, but you never can tell. Something that you don't have control over.
It's just like when somebody has nine to five and you are earning, you're earning decent money. You forget that there will be a time you become tired and your employer, if you don't resign, they will force you to resign. There will be a time they will be like, I'm done. There will be a time they will be like, thank you so much. They'll hand in a white envelope to you. You will have no choice that time. Whatever you have saved during those times that you were working will actually go a long way for you. If you have saved wisely, of course. Some people actually don't believe in all this investment stuff. Some people believe it's headache, Yani. You have to invest, you have to do a lot of follow up, you have to get the lawyer involved, people will try to do whatever. Nothing good comes easy. Another thing I want to react here. Mrs. Maya was asked uh, what it feels like, you know, marrying an icon. Marrying, Maya is Maya. Maya is known, not just in Africa, even beyond. So according to her, sometimes she cries, sometimes she breaks down because people will always share links to her with the Maya getting very close to women, with the Maya meeting up with this person. You can see the chemistry and all that, which I've told you guys that, yes, sometimes you see the kind of content because this is also the kind of content what the Maya did before he married Mrs. Trude. He has always done street interviews, like interviewing mainly young ladies from all these Western, from all these Southern Africans that he has been to that time. So. What do you think? Of course, I didn't know that Mrs. Maya was actually not happy seeing her husband doing those kind of content. But what do you think? If you're going to stop someone who is a public person like this from doing stuff like this, it's going to affect your business. Because whether Mrs. Maya wants to believe it, whether she's getting jealous or whatever, Wode Maya has to do what he has to do. This is his business. He's a social media person. He has to interact not just with women, even with men. And Mrs. Maya looks like someone who is insecure when it comes to this because she said that they are still trying to work on it. It means that mm, baby girl is still not getting it, that this is Maya. Maya has to work with other ladies. And it doesn't mean that he's sleeping with them. Now, according to her, they went somewhere, Rwanda somewhere, and the lady walked up to Maya and was like, I'm here for you. And Mrs. Maya didn't like that. Maya also said, why? And the lady said, oh, I came all the way to see you. Which to me is okay. If I come to Ghana tomorrow, I will still be like that. I'm a married woman. I will be like, well, Maya, I'm here for you. I came to see you. You inspire me a lot. You actually inspired me to start my YouTube, okay? I've learned a lot from you. You've done amazing work, you know, changing the narrative in Africa. Da, 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 da. So I'm attracted to you, but doesn't mean that I want to sleep with you. I don't know why Miss Maya felt like this lady telling Maya that, oh, I'm here for you, already means that they want to go out there. Because she said that this lady said, oh, can we go have dinner? Which is still okay. If she had said, oh, well, the Maya, can we go? have sex somewhere. Oh, if she had said to Maya, I'm here for you. Can we go to the hotel and I want to knock you? Which I believe no lady will stoop so low to do that. I'm not in front of the person's wife. You understand? I know some ladies can do crazy stuff, but Mrs. Maya is insecure, insecure, insecure to feel like nobody, because she's married to Maya, nobody should come close to Maya. You don't know you are actually spoiling business even for yourself as his wife. A lady working with your husband, if your husband has self-control, your husband will sleep with who he wants to sleep with, not who wants to sleep with him. I don't know, but this is how I feel. I don't know how you see it. Some people, they want that gap. They want that distance. You must not come close to my man, whether my man is a social media person or not. Some others... They don't really care. Me, as a social media person, I don't think I can stay or marry to someone who is very jealous because I will relate with opposite sex. But it doesn't mean that I have something to do with it. A woman will walk away from her relationship marriage if there's something, if there's underlining issue already. If a woman, because of her social life, socializing, interacting with other guys, interacting with uh, opposite sex, let's say a guy interacting with other ladies or 
let's say a guy interacting with other ladies or a lady interacting with other guys and the lady decided to walk away it affected her marriage because of that it means that that marriage is not working if that marriage is working there should be a limit i can walk up to a guy and do collaboration with him on business level we collaborate we meet up we have lunch together we joke we laugh and that's it. Here they were in Miami. Mrs. Maya, same Mrs. Maya with tire and checking effect. Those two guys. Okay, what do you have to say? If Wodemaya is a stupid guy, Wodemaya will be like, you know what? Since I'm not even a Yankee, I don't want to see you around those guys. Yes, I know Tayo and Wodemaya are really close and even check. Okay? I know probably those guys, he trusts those guys. And first of all, you have to trust your partner. If there's something already, then I can understand. Probably there are so many things. Probably the marriage is no longer working. <laughs> you, have, you understand? So many issues there. <laughs> hey, questioning. Some people, uh, people, people are already like busy getting tired of each other. I can understand. Like what I said yesterday, if a woman is with a man and sexually, Things are not right. Like you need in the bedroom, nothing is exciting anymore. It will never be as exciting as the first time you met the person. Of course, we all know that. Okay, that's why you need to continuously make it work, spice it up. You know, remind each other how much you need each other and how much you care. Go out on a date, you know, without children. Do all those kind of stuff. Get naughty if you have to get naughty. You know, change position change all those things mm -hmm. make it work because if you don't it will drop more and more we know all this one okay but what i'm saying yesterday someone said that actually a lady can make a guy's bowler not to work you guys should leave me alone on the most reason because this place this is not a true network i know i don't want anybody to come under the comment section and be like okay mama why are you so naughty like this i, I don't deal with children here you see Whenever you click on my video, whenever you click on this video to watch, YouTube will keep the data, the analytics for me. And let me know the kind of people that watch. Are they children? Even their age gap, 50 to 60, 60 to 70, 30 to 40. So majority of you guys that watch me, you are from your 40s down to 60. So nobody is a baby here. Allow me to say the way it is you, you got on a more serious note i don't want i don't want in fact i'm tired my tired is tired leave me alone what is this so a guy can have erectile problem because of the woman because the woman is having a rosal problem <laughs> i don't know if there's any english like that the woman is not responding the way she's supposed to respond you understand or the woman is not doing what she's supposed to do because it's a 50 50 thing you give it to me hey i give it to you of course it takes two to tango so erectile dysfunction a guy not able to reach where he's supposed to reach you know maximize his thing you know get things really heated and you know spicy if a guy cannot do all that it's actually not the job of the guy alone you know but we women we always feel like no the guy should do more the guy should be the one starting it the guy should actually it shouldn't be like that it should be 50 50 thing a girl should also make the move guys coco mama is sweating sweating like it's burning me with the this makeup and everything you guys should leave me alone or is it because i'm talking about bedroom stuff you guys you guys are very naughty on here hey the way you guys like things eh? i'm almost done we're almost done yani i can manage we're almost done so it's african thing for us to expect the guy to make that move to start up the whole thing you know do all the romance and you acting like you're not feeling anything meanwhile you are dying something like that but it shouldn't be like that it should I mean, anybody can start up something. Mm -hmm. If you feel the guy, you can start up. If the guy feels like he will, it's better like that. Now, a woman can actually bring 
erectile dysfunction. A, a woman can actually be the cause of a guy having erectile dysfunction. I agree with that 100%. It's possible. And whenever stuff like this happens, it can actually result to something bigger. It can actually finish the marriage or relationship. Yani very fast, very, very, very fast. With this person, maybe they are not even married. Maybe they are just in a relationship. But things are not the way it's supposed to be. Even if it's not 100%, it should be somewhere 70 or somewhere there. It should be something that everybody will be happy with. And this thing is not happening. The person can actually try somewhere else. And if the person gets something nice, of course, the person will turn to that side. And that is how the marriage will start getting problem. In this case, the marriage did not crash because the guy is abusive. The guy is not treating the woman right. I mean, you will see that it's 100% because of bedroom activity. And people will not even know. This guy, we can no longer hide it. He has a girlfriend. He has a girlfriend. He's busy with his girlfriend. From the woman's side, nothing. All they are doing is complain, complain. When it comes to the woman's side, nothing is working. Because it's coming from this woman. And bedroom activity actually starts from how you care about each other. We all know these things. You guys should leave me alone. Let's watch Mrs. Maya and call it a day. Because Coco Mama, I'm getting heated here. So let's watch Mrs. Maya. I want this video to be... At least less than 15 minutes. I don't know. Well, I hope. Let's watch Mrs. Maya and then we will end it. I know you said that someone had a comment <laughs> saying, What is that the only purse you own? Why always wear the same purse? <laughs> I took a picture <laughs> with, a, with a handbag and someone was like, Is that the only handbag you have? Because <laughs> 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 you have it in all your photos. Oh it was God. so funny. Well, then I was like, ask me how many houses I have, right. not how many handbags I have. Right. Because my priorities are different. Yes. Yeah. So for us, real estate is more important. And sometimes I'm like, oh my God, we need to buy clothes. Like we've been wearing the same clothes for a minute. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and you know, but my is even worse than me. I'd be going to shop and I'm like, oh man, like he really needs new clothes. Yeah. But then, you know, I don't mind that. I'd rather have someone who invests his money in property other than just quandite. it. Right. And then at the end of the day, you really have nothing right. because I feel like it's an investment. Yeah. So in future, I'll be able to look back and be like, the sacrifice was worth it. Yes. I didn't get to look very style. I'm not saying that we don't look good. We, we're also going to try to look better because now we've been working with brands. Mai is working with some brands that just want to dress us up. Right. But uh, I'm just saying, when you get our money, first thing we think about is real estate. Right. Just drop the money into that house. You're thinking generational so, wealth. You're thinking long term, exactly. right? Um, so, yeah, um, for me, that's what I think. And for me, that's what I'd advise someone because, you know, Especially if you don't make enough money mm -hmm. and you decide to just save a little, a little, a little, when you even have enough to buy a house, you know. But if you can sacrifice, but it also depends, you know. This is just from my own point of view because I understand that everyone's life is different. For me, like for me, one mm -hmm. thing I did, I told myself I wouldn't leave my dad's house. It depends. We're all different. We're, our priorities are different. Our choice is different. Uh, what we want to do with our money is different. Not everybody wants to invest in property, real estate, starting up a uh, business, saving some money. Some actually believe that whatever they have done for themselves, whatever they have achieved in life is for them, is for their comfort. Because if they die, every other thing will not matter. <laughs> or whether you have uh, other houses, like what this lady said, generational wealth it will no longer count because some children you know will actually mess everything up when you are gone here you are trying to build up this trying to save some money for this depriving yourself that spoiled you know you're supposed to go on vacation you're supposed to buy something very nice for yourself no you are investing from making this money direct you are investing and investing when you are gone, actually, the children that you have left behind can destroy everything in a minute. Sell all the property, you know, make do with everything that you have worked hard for years. 
So that's why some people believe that it's a headache. They are making money they are enjoying. When they need to go somewhere, they don't need to buy anything, they are going to enjoy the money. Mm -hmm. Spoil themselves like that. Give out to those they want to give out to at that moment. Some people don't believe in investment. Some believe in comfort, like having that comfort at that moment. If anything happens tomorrow, and that's it. Again, the truth of the matter is that <laughs> we are transitional in this world. No matter how you try to invest, no matter how you try to save your money, there will be a day that you will leave all those things and you are gone. So I think there should be a balance to this. You cannot because you're going to die and everything will be gone. Like you will remember all those things you have done, all your achievements will make sense. The certificate, everything you have gotten in this life will no longer make sense. You will not because of that then you don't want to save some money, you don't want to invest, you don't want to do anything for future, okay? But at the same time, you cannot save to the extent like what Mrs. Maya is saying, that Wodemaya doesn't dress good at all, Wodemaya doesn't buy clothes, even though they are working with brands now that help them dress up. But Wodemaya doesn't believe in that. She was asked what made her to marry Wodemaya. She said that, what she believes in is, let's watch that because uh, I have another clip where she said that, then we'll call it a day. There's <laughs> so many, I can't say all of them. But, well, you see, it comes with trusting. Like, I know he just can't do nothing. Yeah, and you know what's good about everything? Yes. He's a public figure. So right. guys will be taking videos. And see, no, say, so well. That's what, that's another power. Exactly. Like, you know, stress. <laughs> they can't do anything in secrecy. <laughs> You know, this comes out. Plus, anyway, these women out there, like they don't love them. <laughs> exactly. They don't love them for who they are. They just they just want something from them. Yes, yes. You know, and then they'd be hiding photos and videos and then it will come out. So it comes out. It's your so, loss. Like you can't do anything yeah. stupid. <laughs> now, you know, you know, so they have to think. <laughs> exactly. And then I think like before we, we end this chat, I wanted to end with like you were saying really something beautiful about like what attracted you to him before we started filming mm. and i would love if you could share that okay so um what i love most about my husband maya is i feel like he is the smartest man on this planet and that is the sexiest thing to me for me what attracts me to a person is how they think whether they are a girl or a man like if you're a girl and you're thinking big like i want to be your friend you mm -hmm. know but for my husband, he has big aspirations. He thinks big. His dreams are just unbelievable. I believe in what Mrs. Maya said here. You get attracted to people, not because of how sexy they look, how beautiful they look, how nice their skin is, how good they are in the bedroom and all that. It's far from that. Again, it depends on how this person behaves, how this person reasons. Okay, is this person someone that has foresight? Is this person somebody you can grow with? Is this person someone that probably does not have a lot of money, but he has foresight? He knows he has a vision. He knows that he's going somewhere. He's working hard. He's reasoning, like what Mrs. Maya said, that he wows her the way with the Maya reasons. You understand? And that was what made her attracted even though she was one that was african man this stereotype thing should stop this stereotype thing should really stop there are bad and good people everywhere that you have met few people from a particular country doesn't mean that you can now talk nonsense about the whole country or that those people you have met represent the whole country it doesn't make sense all right guys if you watch to this moment you know who you are you are the best you're the bestest. Thank you all for coming in today to support Coco Mama like you always do. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your support. Thank you for your likes, your comments, the slides, words, words. Thank you for all. I love and appreciate you all from the bottom, bottomness of my heart. Don't forget to give this video a like. Please like this video. Mm, drop it with the water for Coco Mama. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Yes. Bring someone to the table. Tell a friend to tell a friend about Coco Mama. I'll see you all in my another water water. Peace out, peace out, peace out. Bye bye. Bye guys.
Long and tight as she my brother We gon' live forever Money island to the mainland Pulling up in the prima